Did I hit it? Okay, I'm on. <laughs> it is a lot different out here, guys. Hello, hello. All right, we already have a few of you guys on. Um, good morning. I am trying to get back into the swing of things. I thought that I would come back outside and uh, do the rest of this dresser. It is very windy today. Um, it's really nice, but windy. So as you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I am going to pull this a bit closer. So the volume is there. So definitely say hello guys as you're jumping on. Um, let's see here. I hope that everybody's on. Yes, it does show. All right. It does show that I am streaming on both YouTube and Facebook. Uh, so the last four days, I have been MIA. I have been at a retreat um, with Jane Vellante. We were in Burlington, Wisconsin. And you guys, it was so perfect. It was at um, a place called the Miller House. And it's located on, it's kind of like nestled on 25 acres of a wooded property along the Honey Creek River. And it was just so relaxing. It was exactly what I needed to like refresh my soul. So, all right, we have Marley, Shirley, Amanda. Do you have the wind advisor over there that we have in Michigan? Um, maybe I should have looked <laughs> before I went live. <laughs> Hi, Elisa. E Thank you for joining. Uh, we have Amy. Oh, hello, mom. Stay warm. Yes. So I actually have a jacket on because. I'm actually getting a little warm now, but um, the wind keeps picking up. So I want to first and foremost apologize for that. <laughs> so um, hi, Linda. So some things, uh, some takeaways from the retreat. I just realized that each and every week I really need to take a moment and slow down and create something for myself and reflect on my week. Um, some things that are maybe possibly bothering me or I wanna let go, some things where I want to put out in the universe and say, this is where I want to be. So I think what we're gonna do is like uh, midweek, even though I am prepping and preparing for the show um, and doing all the things, I think that that's something we are gonna do together like on Wednesdays, um, just sit down together on my live and um, do some of that. So maybe a little turn or twist that I never thought I would take my lives to that point. But you know what? Uh, things happen and um, you meet people that change the trajectory of where things are going. Um, Oh, Shelly says, I loved yesterday's video. It was inspiring and helpful to me also. Thank you. And yes, if you missed it, I did put out a video um, about the four day retreat. I didn't go and show you all the nitty gritty glimpses of everything. Just a real high level of, you know, where, you know, what we did, um, but it was absolutely perfect. Janelle says, hey from Virginia, just, Taught you getting ready to head outside myself to refinish an antique ice box, but first I'll get my sonnet on. Oh, good. So, yes, yeah, so I think Wednesdays, you guys, we are gonna slow down and we're gonna do a little um, journaling together or like creating together. So, I ended up getting this really beautiful journal, and let me tell you, I have always thought like maybe I should be journaling or maybe I should be doing something for myself. And hey, El Elisa, how are you doing? So that is, so there I created my very first page. And this is really cool, you guys, because on one side, on the inside, I wrote something that I wanted to, that was really bothering me and that I wanted to have changed. And then on this side, I wrote how I was going, you know, where I wanted to see that change happen and how. And then I took it and I created, I journaled with this beautiful paper over it. So my thoughts 
are in there, but then they're hidden over this beautiful um, piece that I made. So I am going to take us every Wednesday and I am going to do that. We're going to sit down and we are going to try to journal together. Um, it will take a lot for me to do that because, you know, to slow down, but it's okay. We can do it together. So next week, or actually we should start tomorrow. We'll start tomorrow. We'll do a journaling exercise tomorrow because you know what? It's supposed to get really cold here. So I don't think I want to take you guys outside. So if you guys want to join me tomorrow on my live, we'll be doing this. Um, so grab yourself a cute little journal and let's uh, create together. Uh, Kim says I use a journal all the time, but never decorate it. Mine was more of a diary. It might start decorating. Yes. So be prepared. If you want to join in, you can watch and we can talk it through. But grab something and we will write something we want to change and where we want to go. And then we're going to decorate it and create together. So, I have somebody walking by looking at me. <laughs> um, I honestly don't think they're even listening because it sounds like they have music playing. They're walking around with a boombox. Is it a boombox? I think it's like a, probably one of those um, speakers. So, um, yeah, so that is what we're going to do starting tomorrow. And we'll do that every midweek. Um, we'll just create together. So, hey, Corrine, thanks for joining. Um, all right. So that, and then I want to mention also, I am starting to get my shipments for my box, you guys. So if you haven't yet, and you are interested and want to be the first ones to get your hands on the maker's box, definitely get on that wait list. Um, and I will, I don't actually have the wait. I, it is on my website. So um, if you go to www.sonnetsgardenblooms.com, there will be a spot that says the maker's box and you can get on the wait list and definitely do that. Um, that items are coming in and I am starting to get really excited. My boxes will be here either today or tomorrow. So um, this was the first one that I received. It was the uh, one that I had to say yay or nay if I liked it. And you guys, I love it. It like screams my name. Well, it does because it has my name on it. But uh, I am really excited. So um, Royce's papers should be here any day now. I will get those off. <sighs> oh, gosh. Okay, I forgot. Are you there? I hope. I hope you guys are. <sighs> Tell me if you're still here because now I have a big, <laughs> I have a big uh, play sign in front. I don't know what that means. Um, yes. Okay. Good. So I forgot to with, I forgot to put do not disturb. But okay. Good. I'm here. I'm here. Awesome. And I don't think I see a big play sign. It's just on my phone here. So, um, but yes, Royce's papers will be in any day now. I am going to get those all ready to get in here along with Connie's. So everything is coming together. Um, and remember, if you are on the wait list, you guys are going to get an email or receive an email on May 27th and you will have first dibs at getting those. So, um, yes, and I'm sure many of you are on there, but I just want to mention it as well. Um, Karen says, I am new to your page. What is in your box? So the box is going to be new. We're kicking it off uh, June 1st. It, the, um, it, your, the June box will close on June 1st at midnight. It will open on May 28th. And what is in here is Royce from Royce Cycle Decoupage Paper has designed two papers for each month to go in here. So decoupage papers. Also, uh, Connie from The Painted Photographer has designed um, a paper as well. And there'll be two papers in here of hers. And then I have chosen or curated specific colors to go with those in the maker's box. So this will be a subscription box. So you can get it each and every month. Um, I have been asked if uh, they don't want, if you don't want it every month, you have to get it. 
No, but I, as I'm moving forward with this, I have, I was going to like start increasing the quantity. I'm going to see how that all goes. I'm going to first, um, I might open it up every quarter. I think the first, we'll see. I'm still working out all those details, but I do have a set amount. So on May 27th, anybody that is on that wait list will receive an email. You'll get first dibs. If it sells out on the wait list, uh, then it is officially, the boxes will be full. Um, if it's not officially sold out, I will open it up to everyone. And then on June 1st at midnight, anyone um, that has placed their order at that point will be on that first shipment. Um, but I'm closing it at that time and then shipping everything out and then the June box will start. So it's super exciting. Um, I um, It's something I've been wanting to do for a while and we'll, we'll work through it. And uh, But yes, I'm starting to get items. So I'm like, what if? my UPS comes and he's bringing the boxes. Well, he might have to make an appearance. So if um, he shows up while we're alive, I might have him say hi. Uh, if it's my normal UPS guy, guys. So he is super nice. I love him. Well, as a friend. <laughs> um, how do we get on the wait list? So you would go to my website. I normally, when I'm inside, I am very, I have the link. But go to my website, which is www.sonnetsgardenblooms.com, and then click on the makers box, and there'll be a, a form to fill out to be on the wait list. And then you should receive an email saying that you're on the wait list. If you do not, check your spam. Well, what I've been hearing is that uh, some of, sometimes the emails are going into spam, so definitely check that. Um, so is there a theme to the first box? It is summer related. So maybe like, um, yeah, summerish. We'll just say summerish. Um, you can sign, yep, yes. And Amanda says you can sign up on her website. Yes. That is how you officially get on the wait list. So if you're interested, definitely do that. And like I said, you'll get first dip. So I wanted to mention that. I don't want anyone to forget about it. Now we're outside, so it's a bit loud. I do have, the neighbors are having like stuff happening. And today there's been a couple semis that drove by, which was kind of odd, but it's all good. Um, summer, great. Yes, all things summer. So I'm very excited. Um, I've already seen, um, Royce has been like creating like some, I've seen the fallish ones, you guys, and I am so excited about that. You have no idea. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it, I, I just am so excited every time she sends me some more papers to pick and choose from because I love Royce's style and I love her papers and she is so stinking creative. So, um, and it is an exclusive paper that you can only get in my box. Remember that. All right, that was, I think I covered Wednesday Lives. I covered my box, uh, my subscription box. So I'm excited about that. Any other questions before we move on? Um, let's see, Patty from Cali. Hello, hello, thanks for joining. All right, so let's talk about, if any questions come up, I will answer those. But let's talk about the dresser. So if you guys were on my live on, was it Wednesday? Was that the last time? Yes, it was Wednesday. I have to remember because it's been a blur since I've been at that retreat. So on Wednesday, I brought out the dresser. Now the dresser ended up getting for free. Um, I was at an event and a gal came up to me and said, I have this dresser, it's my childhood dresser would you want it? Um, it? It's it's a project piece. And I said, absolutely. I love anything free, especially since I'm getting ready for Antique Acres, uh, which will be May 17th and 18th. And it's a two day event, you guys. And it's awesome. Uh, everyone has been starting to pull together uh, their displays for their vignettes. And it's great. If you guys are in the area or want to make a mini road trip, definitely look up Antique Acres. 
Uh, it is May 17th and 18th. And I'm trying to think if this is like my fourth year doing this. I think this might be my fourth year, third or fourth year. But um, I am located, my booth will be in the barn. And it's not just any barn, you guys. It's an amazing barn that Wendy, the owner, had the Amish build. And it is beautiful. So um, that is where I will be hosting my event in October as well. So I will do something very similar to what Wendy does. Uh, but mine's going to be two parts. It's going to have the vendors in the barn. And then I'm going to have um, some tickets available for um, a series of workshops with some amazing creators. So that's in October 3rd, 4th, and 5th. All right, back to the dresser. So um, what I did so far, I took your advice and well, we what we did on Wednesday is we removed the veneer that was on top. It was falling apart or peeling off. So we brought it down to the bare wood and I thought about it over the last few days of what I wanted to put on there. And I did want to go with a decoupage paper. So um, initially, I, there's two decoupage papers. One is called vintage wallpaper and the other one is called wallpaper. And I'll show you the difference. And initially I was going to go with just the wallpaper and I probably won't be able to open it up because it is fairly windy and I was gonna put it on, but I don't know. I didn't realize that the wind was gonna be this bad, you guys. So um, we will see how this goes. But the wallpaper is more of a tighter, smaller um, floral. And it does still have that beautiful writing in the background. I love the coloring. So I, I looked at my stock and I only have a few of these left and I do need to reorder. So I decided to go with the vintage wallpaper and I am going to show you that next. So let me put this down. So here is the vintage wallpaper and the floral is a little bit bigger on this i think it's going to be perfect for the top to be honest so i'm going to show you that bear with me so any i always ship everything out in plastic envelopes I used to ship them up out in this size, but um, now uh, Royce is actually folding the paper. So we are going to change the size that I ship in. Um, so this is this, it's like more of a larger version of the wallpaper. So the vintage wallpaper. So that is what we're going to put on top. Karen says, I love that paper. Those are super pretty. Good morning. My first time making a live. Hello, Wendy. Thank you for joining. So that is what we're going to do. And I'm going to try to put it on top or I'm going to, we're going to try to do it today. We'll see. We'll see. Right. Um, so the color we talked about last week, what colors and initially I had these two blue chairs here and I was going to start creating my vignette with those. And I have a lot of chairs, so I'm going to be bringing a lot of chairs to the event. And I thought once I came up with going with that paper for the top, I'm like, I think we're going to go with this color. It's called Champla Champlain. Um, it's a very pretty, I'm going to show you next to it. It just, I think it's going to go with it really well. So I, that's the color we're going to paint the dresser. It's like a, a creamy color. I love it. Okay, I'll push that back down. Sorry, guys. Let's see here. Um, <laughs> good morning. Love that door in the background. It would be a darling table. Yes. So I was actually going to do something else with that. And then I... It ended up right there. I have to put it away, you guys, but I love it too. Um, 
actually made me think yesterday I was driving along and I saw some other vintage doors in the garbage. I probably should go check to see if they're still available. Uh, El Elisa says, I love that paper. Me too. Um, hello, Debbie from LZ Ling Art Garage. Uh, she says, hey, Sonnet, what you doing? We are going to be working on this dresser. I'm a little scared because it is awfully windy though today. I was not expecting it to be this windy, you guys. Um, so we're going to just try to make it work. Um, so for starters, anytime I um, am going uh, with putting down the decoupage paper, I always want it to really pop. And I always start with like a whitish, like some white base or a cream base. So we're going to paint this on top. Oh my gosh. That woke me up. One of the dresser drawers fell over. So we're going to paint this on the top. So that's what we're going to start. And then we're going to try to do the, de the decoupage, guys. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I can control the wind enough to do that. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay. Let's start with the painting first. Trying to see, I dropped my paintbrush over here, so I'm gonna grab that. All right, so a great tool that I use to open up the lids, I use my Pampered Chef can opener, um, or well, I don't know if it's like really considered a can opener, but it really helps me open up paint. Well, normally. I don't know. Let me see here. <laughs> oh gosh. I haven't even opened this yet, yet, you guys. Oh, decoupage may be hard in the wind. Yes, it may. Good morning from Hustaford, just southish from you. Oh, hi. I am such a pampered chef addict. Me too, you guys. So if you missed Friday's video, I headed down to Menominee Falls and I went thrifting with Jen from um, Rustic Rehab and I found the best Pampered Chef um, dish. It's like this deep dish thing. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get it. A... <laughs> and I don't have my heat gun out here, you guys. How can I not get this open? Oh, my neighbor must be getting new carpet. Maybe you can get the wind to work with you instead of against you. Maybe it's blowing this way. <laughs> we're going to start on that side and we're going to work our way over. I live in East Vale, California. The winds are so bad here. We call it East Vale for the gale force winds. <laughs> um, well, we might not be doing anything if I can't get this open. Good Lord. I wish, see that's what happens when I'm out of my element, you guys. I, let me just hammer it on the ground and see if I can loosen it up. Do you think I can? We'll see. It's, it's, it's not, uh... normally this thing totally works. I must be weak from all the, the yummy food I ate. <laughs> <laughs> I was at this retreat. Oh. I cannot get this open for the life of me. This is a brand new one, too. It's been really windy in Phoenix lately. Oh. I don't know why I cannot get this open, you guys. This is not good. Take some anguish out on it, right? Sorry, guys. I don't want to all of a sudden have it like open and like spill all over me either. But this normally really works good. All right. Let's uh, let's take a mini break from that and let's talk about my drawers. <laughs> So what I did is, if you guys remember, 
I, um, I took my hand sander and I sanded them down. It didn't take much. <laughs> I did one little pass and I took most of everything off and I'm just embracing then the imperfections for everything else. I am also going to do that for the rest of the dresser as well. So, um, Kareen says, I do it. Use the opener like a hammer. Okay. I will do that. I, I think what, um, I don't know what to say. This was going to work so perfect, you guys, but you know what? I didn't think about trying to open it beforehand because I thought it's brand new. <laughs> Holy shnikes, this lid is on. So when I ship you guys stuff, you should not have to. Oh, here, I feel like it's moving. Maybe it's not. I feel like it's moving. It's moving. I got it. <laughs> Run uh, the jar underwater. Yeah, turn upside down and bang on the top of the dresser. Uh, use it under the lid. Yeah, okay. I got it. I got it, you guys. Oh, thank Lord. Thank the Lord, right? I was getting nervous. Um, I was actually almost starting to sweat again <laughs> because I was getting so nervous. Oh, you guys. So here's the color. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add one coat to it. So I'm going to try to get us close. Um, I have it on these rollers, which are like one of the best investments I've ever made. They're at track or they're at, um, oh gosh, I almost said tractor supply. They're not at tractor supply. They're at some supply store. They're moving. They're for, um, for moving different things. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to just put one coat here on. And we're going to go from there. And then we'll, the goal is to get this decoupage paper on today. That is the goal. I Harbor Freight. Thank you, Tina. Tina had it. Harbor Freight. Like she knows where I go. Yes, I got it at Harbor Freight. Um, I buy all my drop cloth there. I buy these moving tools there. So it's perfect. LOL. Lid opening adventures with Sonnet. Yes, right? I have a childproof bottle of over-the-counter meds that I can't even budge the lid. I'm going to... <laughs> I hear you. On the bright side, with all the wind, it shouldn't take long for it to dry. What was the condition of the top, and what did you do to prep the top? So um, the condition was uh, not good. It had... Um, so if you missed my Wednesday live, um, it did have, on the top, it had... Um, can't even think. We took it off. What did it have, guys? Um, but yeah, we, we removed the top because it was really bad. Everyone was, there was a few kind of sad about that, but I could not save it. Um, and then what I did is I took my sander and I sanded down the top. And now I am painting it with fusion. And then we're going to add the paper. I 
and I am trying to protect the paint because it's open from the wind. So I'm trying to block it. Hopefully it doesn't dry too quick on my brush here. But one thing I did remember you guys was a baggie to put it in. So I'm just putting on one even coat to the entire top. And this is like, I'm sure not the best wood. I think that's what people had said that the wood that's typically underneath the veneer, I think that's what it was, veneer. It was really damaged. Let me close this top. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't go super. Oh my gosh! Now where did my okay? I had babies. Uh, veneer, veneer, veneer. Yes, everybody, veneer. Thank you. The veneer. Um. All right, so the top is officially done. You guys can all see it. So we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna um, add the decoupage paper. So I think I'll turn it that way so the wind and we'll start on this side and we'll work our way down. It has really good coverage. I don't think I need to do two. I'm just gonna do one coat. And with I think the sun and the wind, this should dry very quickly. Um, let's see here if I'm missing anything as I was painting. Nope, just the condition. So you guys asked about the condition. Now you can see I am going to, before I paint this, I am going to sand this and I'm going to try to get rid of some of this. I was going to embrace it and I was going to, um, I just want to knock it down a bit. So I'm going to sand that. I started doing that to the other side. And I was going to just paint over this, like I said, and then I was going to add some wax to it and like get it in there, but I decided not to. No heat gun required today with the wind. Absolutely not. Volume cuts out often, maybe from the wind. I would think probably from the wind, guys. I am sorry. Let me move that. Maybe that will help. Is it still cutting out? I am sorry. Next time, uh, when it's this windy, when I set it up, I'm going to have to call it and we're going to have to head inside and like, I'll have to come up with something else to do. Let's see. I'm going to move, maybe block it a little bit from the wind. Volume has been fine for me. Oh, okay. Okay. Now <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry guys. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, El Elisa says she loves the color. I love it too. I think it's going to be really good. Um, I'm still thinking about going in and possibly doing um, some wax or something too, if there's still some of this left over. So let me set these down. I just don't want my decoupage paper to blow away. All right. No audio issues on my end. Hearing you fine in Whitewater. Good. Okay. Awesome. I was getting nervous because I, I want you guys to hear me. <laughs> All right. It look it is looking pretty good. So what I did is I actually laid down the paper on top. It is not a perfect fit. Um, so I am thinking I'm going to possibly like do some tearing and then piece meal two pieces together somehow so that's what i as soon as this is dry which is it's almost dry we're gonna tackle that next um for the drawers though now that they're all sanded down i'm gonna just wipe them down really good and then i think that's what we're gonna do next we're gonna just be painting these next i think it's gonna be beautiful i wanted to add some more white pieces 
um, to uh, the actual entire display because I think sometimes with all the barn quilts being so colorful, there's just a lot of color. So I really am trying to neutralize my color with some more like neutral colors, like white. So um, we'll do that. Uh, the other thing too, because of, I was thinking it would be really beautiful to have like a barn quilt um, on the back side of it, something big and beautiful. Uh, I am actually thinking about um, creating one that has like the, the greens here. I'll grab my paper again so you guys can see it. But that have like the olive greens in it and some creams and maybe some reds, um, burgundy. So I think that that is going to be really good. Uh, white furniture always sells for me. Me too. I love the curves of the drawer, dresser drawers. I do too. So you guys, I was thinking more of like a, a real pretty brushed gold handles to go on it. Like a, or like a brushed bronze kind of. I don't know if you are like feeling what I'm feeling. Um, I saw, I'm trying to think which creator I saw use it. And I'm like, oh that's what I want. Um, oh, hello, Joan. Yes, I am so excited to be back. I really am. Um, let's see here. All right, it's looking pretty dry. That's the test. It's dry, guys. All right. Let me grab this, and now we can lay this out and we can talk about it. I'm actually kind of nervous about this. I'll be totally honest. <laughs> shabby chic. It is going to be shabby chic up. It is definitely going to be shabby chic up. All right. Let me, I'm going to put those down. We're going to turn this again. I'm just going to move some of the, this drawer. And there's a drawer on the other side as well. I just don't want it to fall off these movers. So that is the only downfall. Like you have to be kind of careful when you have it on these mover things because they sometimes do fall off. How do I know? Because it's happened. It has happened to me several times. All right. I just watch and make sure that everything is okay. All right. Perfect, right? It's perfect. Um, so Carolyn says, have you considered decoupaging the drawers? I had but then I wanted something on top. Do you guys think I should decoupage the drawers instead? The reason I'm doing the top and I'm gonna maybe make you guys sick if I pick you up, but I wanna show you the top. I mean, it's, it's not perfect by any means. So that's why I am doing the top versus the drawers. Joan says, love your recap of the retreat. That was a beautiful location. Yes, it absolutely was. It is uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful location, you guys. Um, let's see here. Are you doing a barn quilt class in October? Uh, yes. So um, for those of you that are interested in attending my October event, uh, how it is going to be, I'm going to be getting stuff out real soon. I'm just working on the actual page. Uh, with all the information for it, but um, it's going to be like a two-part ticket. There is going to be um, a Friday, Saturday ticket for um, all the workshops, and then there's going to be an add-on for a VIP ticket, and that is going to be on Thursday. So it'll be a Thursday, Friday, Saturday ticket, or just a Friday, Saturday ticket. On the Thursday ticket, it would be, uh, you'd get, be able to do a barn quilt. That will be the workshop. 
Um, so you could add some of the dainty inlays on the drawers for a more subtle look. Maybe the biggest florals on top and the smaller florals on the drawers. Okay. Oh, we got our first bee, guys. Great, right? Great. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, my friends. It might be a bit windy. I'm just trying to see if there's any... So my other thought as I'm laying this out is I think I might want to lay it this way. Um, and the reason is because the writing. I think this might be a, a kibosh. Maybe put the decoupage on the side and just finish painting. On the side, just finish painting. So I think it might be a little too windy today for the decoupaging. Um, why don't we talk about the drawers? I guess I'm going to just move on to painting the drawers. Um, they are basically completely dry or um, like they are sanded off and they're pretty clean. So we're just going to roll with it. Um, how about that? So here is the drawer. Uh, we talked about um, doing one to two handles. I think I'm just going to go with the two handles. Um, Patricia says, I meant at the event. Will there be any round table discussions on topics? Could do a Facebook poll for desired topics or just ask for ideas on lives. Okay. So with um, how the event is going to work is um, I'm having a bunch of creators uh, come to the event and we are, um, each of them is going to have a different workshop and it is the top, the items that they're coming up with are so amazing and you guys, and you guys are all going to be able to create with them. So you will be able to create and walk away with something at each of the workshops. So for instance, Debbie Primer, who was on here earlier with um, LZ Lane Art Garage, you are going to, um, with her workshop, uh, there will be all different, uh, you'll have your DIY paints, and she is going to show you, and you are going to be able to do this, uh, blend with DIY paint. So she is going to show you how to properly blend with the DIY paint and then you are going to be able to hands-on do that. Uh, and then from there, uh, I was just at Jane Vellante's uh, retreat. She is going to be one of the creators there as well. And then you are going to take that beautiful hand-blended item and then you are from there, the next workshop is you are going to do a mixed media project on there. And Jane is going to walk you through that and help you create with that. So that, that's just kind of how um, the workshops are going to go. On Friday, at the very end of the day, there is going to be a panel discussion. So all the creators will be up on um like on stage and everyone that is attending the two day workshop for sure, uh, will be able to then ask questions and you'll be able to talk about, um, you know, ask any of the creators questions. And that was one of my favorite events, uh, that I did at the IOD conference is that like Debbie Beard was up there, Annie Sloan, um, the IOD sisters, uh, the other creators, and we were able to ask them any questions and then everyone openly talked and discussed about that. So that's going to be another um, event that's going to happen. 
And then if you do the VIP ticket, you're going to have just more one-on-one -on -one time with all the creators on that Thursday night or Thursday afternoon into the evening. Okay. Um, I hope that answered those questions. And then, yes, um, on Thursday evening, you will be able to create your own barn quilt. Um, let's see. I'm driving in the same wind going to mid-Wisconsin, and it's heavy wind. Yes, it is. That's what I was trying to say. Don't decoupage today, just paint. Yes, I will do that. That's a great idea. Good idea. Um, it would be easier to cut smaller inlay pieces to go in the drawers than trying to cut decoupage paper heavily, perfectly to fit in the drawers. Okay. All right. So let's, We ha I'm going to keep this one today. Um, I think the two separate papers would be overwhelming with the different prints. I think that might be as well. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna paint. Um, I'm gonna just try to paint some of this. So let's do that. Sounds great. I always benefit from those kind of panels at conferences. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I am very excited um, to do the, the panel discussion. All right, guys. So um, with the, the DIY um, cottage colors or the fusion, it is better to do thinner coats than a heavier coat. So um, I always just go in and I have just a nice thin coat. And this is probably not the best um, <laughs> weather to be painting this in, but that's okay. That's okay. And I just don't want to get my keyhole any paint on that. So let me just go in with that here. There. Coat one done. I always like to do just the edges a little bit as well. And um, I am using the Stallmeister series. Um, I think this is actually the, it says 30 on it. So I think it's the smallest one. And I think I, um, they come in three different sizes and they're on my website. Okay, I just am gonna grab this side. So there is coat one on that. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to read the comments. Looking forward to the conference and booking my flight. Yes. Yeah, so I will be getting the information out real soon. I am currently in the process of just uh, getting everyone's beautiful pictures and their bios. So you guys know um, a little bit about uh, something about each of the creators. I will have um, everything laid out uh, so you guys know how each of the days will go as well. Um, 
West Coast Contessa says, I want to invest in good brushes next. That is a goal of mine. Uh, yes, that is definitely a game changer. Don't let your coat get don't let your coat get paint on it. Yes, that's a good idea. I'm normally not <laughs> overly concerned because when I use DIY paint, you guys, because it typically washes out fairly easy. But yes, this one, I don't want to get paint on it. Um, although this is my, do I really have any nice clothes anymore? Probably not. So, um, so let me just see here if I missed any other comments. Yes, I did. I think I got them all. But yes, um, so this is coat one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry, go back in. I'm going to apply a second coat to it. And then I am, because you guys know how much I love uh, my my distress in, I'm going to do a little bit of distress in. Um, and then we're going to go, I'm going to put the new handles on it. And I really think this is going to look so good. I really do. I've already started sanding um, around the edges here. I'm gonna get this all sanded the rest of the way. Um, so we are at about an hour. Uh, I don't wanna keep you guys any longer than I have to because of the wind. <laughs> I am sorry. I was like, we are gonna get this done today. The dresser is gonna get fully done. So I think what we're gonna do is okay so wednesday which is tomorrow i'm going to schedule our next live and we are going to do a journaling together so anyone that wants to participate grab yourself a journal of some sort um even a notebook it does not have to be pretty or grab yourself a beautiful journal if you have one and then we can do this together we're gonna just do like our an exercise together and we'll start it off with that and then i am going to probably bring the drawers inside and we're going to we're going to get these drawers done after that if we have time um but yes we will uh do that journaling exercise that jane uh i did with her and it was so it was so nice you guys it was just it's nice to think about something that you want to get off your chest but you don't want anybody else to know and you, it's something you want to change. And then you'll put that on the left side, on the right side, you're gonna put down what you want. Um, you know, if you put it out into the universe that you want something, you just keep saying it over and over. So many times we say so many bad things, <laughs> you know, like say some positive things, put that on paper too. And then we are going to um, decorate over it and create something beautiful. So it's on paper, it's out in the universe, and then we'll create with it. Um, so I'm just checking to see if anybody else wrote anything and they did not. So we'll start doing that tomorrow. Then um, after we get creating, done creating, if we have time, I will have the dresser drawers in there and we will um, I'll finish painting those and we'll talk about that a little bit more. and. Then hopefully by Friday, you guys, it'll be nice enough that I can get this top on and you guys can see how I do that. But, um, and then I'll have the rest of the dresser all sanded as well. So anything you guys want to chat about before I wrap things up? I know I'm keeping the, this one to an hour again, but um, I have to like be a little bit more prepared, I think, when I'm outside. <laughs> I'm watching the the carpet guys across the road too. So, uh, but yes, so I am going to head on in. What kind of handles? Yeah. So I think I'm going to do like a brushed gold or like a, like a really pretty brushed gold, I think is going to look really good on these. I, I really do. So I'm going to grab some handles. Uh, I definitely, I am going to put, I think, two, a knob on each side. I thought about filling it in and doing one knob, but I, I'm just going to embrace that there were two knobs. So that's what we're going to do for the knobs. And, and I will hopefully have those. I want to get this done by this week, you guys, because we have to keep rolling. I mean, before we know what Antique Acres is going to be here. So we have to start completing some of these bigger projects. I say we, but it's really me. <laughs> And this wind is not helping. So um, thank you so much, Kelly, for joining. I hope you're feeling better. 
Uh, Kelly had um, been in the hospital, so um, I've been thinking about you, girl. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys for joining us. Marley says, I just want to thank you for the inspiration. I would not have been able to do the trays I posted. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, yes. And if you guys don't already, definitely um, head on over to my, I have a page uh, where you can post uh, all the different projects that you're working on. I love seeing it. Hey, Jane, popping on quick. Yeah, so J that Jane um, Balante is on here. That's whose retreat I was just at. Thank you, thank you. Um, I was telling everybody how great of a time I had. Uh, Kelly said, every day is getting better. So I'm so happy to, to hear that. Joan says, can I drive up on Saturday and come and meet everyone? Do you have a one-day event? So Joan, um, yes, what will... Um, I will have vendors in the barn for two days. So that will be open to anybody. And um, we I will have a project piece. I'm thinking about doing something like where I have a project piece where we'll all be like in between us in the workshop. We'll be able to work on this project piece and make it and just our, add our own little personality to it. There might be a project piece for each day, or it just might take the entire um, the entire time to do it as well. Um. Oh Lord. So did I freeze? I think I may have froze. Um. Yeah. So, anyways, there'll be a project piece in the barn and whoever is in there working on it, you would be able to stop on by and say hello during that time. Um, but the workshops will be in a completely separate area. Um, and I wanted to do that because it's going to be like, you know, there's going to be like workshops, you know, going on all day. Long. So, all right. Um, and so there is not there is not a one day event. It's going to be either like a Friday, Saturday for the two day event, or you can do all three days for the October event. All right, um, all right, guys. So I just want to thank you all for joining me today. Like I said, I am so sorry about the wind. I cannot control that though. <laughs> so um, we will be back live though tomorrow. I definitely. Um, wanted to jump on on uh, Monday night. Unfortunately, just, you know, getting back into the swing of things, things were a little bit crazy. So, um, oh, Jane says that I was just watching your video is so beautiful. I'm so grateful. Well, thank you, Jane. Um, ha uh, Carol says, have a wonderful day and enjoy that prairie wind. Oh, right. Um, Yes, Joan, uh, that was a beautiful location for the retreat, uh, definitely. So, all right, guys, well, we'll see you tomorrow. And like I said, um, I'm super excited to try something different with you guys. Um, and we will see you then. So, uh, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. All right, see you then. Bye.